How's it going? Hey Nick, how you doing? So we've got some new uh, Studio Live consoles. Indeed, we uh, released the 32 channel Studio Live Series 3 at NAMM. Um, and for NASA this year we have got uh, the 24 channel version over here. So it's the Studio Live SL24. And then you'll see we've got the 16 channel here also. Um, so both of these um, smaller format consoles uh, are very interesting because they have all of the features that you will see in the 32 channel with the vintage processing, the really nice effects. You have a smaller amount of inputs on the 16 and 24, but what's really cool is you still have got 32 digital channels uh, internally. So if you use the um, some stage boxes that we're coming out with and stuff, you will still have over the network AVB 32 channels inside with all of the full uh, vintage EQs, compressors and stuff that sound really cool. On the, ah, on the new... so you, you're using Network AVB, which means you can use pretty much anything that's Network AVB enabled and have it on there? Or... Um, in theory, yes. So <laughs> we're, we're still uh, uh, testing a lot of stuff, but we're going to have our own stage boxes coming out uh, that work perfectly with the desk. And then some Moto stuff is working at the moment as well, and we will be developing this through AVB uh, in the future. That was the brand I was going to say, so I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, yeah. brilliant. So that would presumably work on layers on here, right? For, for Absolutely, yeah. So again, it works similar to the 32 channel over layers, um, and we've got banks. Um, on the 24 version here, then we've also got the master section that we had with the 32. So this guy's really fully featured um, with user oh, function got, buttons got also DCA's extra. Well, right. uh, so we've got 24 DCA group capability on the desks as well. So uh, tons of inputs, tons of outputs. And again, a really important feature of all of these new desks is that they're a DAW controller as well. Right. So they truly are Studio Live in terms of uh, an interface, DAW control, and then a really nice live mixing desk with lots of processing on every output. Uh, on every input, so. And uh, they, am I right? They, these ones have got moving faders, right? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So, all moving faders. But the really important thing is that we've kept it simple with this inputs button. So, if you get into some complicated mixing, you always have the option to hit inputs, and you're back to your main layer. So, on this one, we're back to one to, one to twenty-four by hitting an inputs button really simple. And one thing that's uh, a lot of digital desks allow you is a kind of cross-patching of inputs and faders. Are you, yeah. and whereas on the previous version, it was kind of one for one. Can you yeah. do that on these? Yeah, again, we're trying to keep it simple with the inputs button on, uh, for the initial layer, but we have the option with our user layer to be able to take any of these faders, and you'll see we uh, can- Assign them to anything. Assign any input, yeah. uh, any of our mixes or our effects. And also, we will be able to assign our DCA groups to any of these faders as well. Right. So, user layers are very important on this desk. We have a user layer for the faders, we have a user layer for our fat channel, and then we've got user assignable buttons. So, if you use this desk for maybe three or four gigs, you'll be able to design your own workflow to get you moving really fast. Yeah, I was talking to somebody yesterday, and they were saying the thing about digital desks is, for live work, you could bring the fader to the engineer rather than take the engineer to the fader. Basically, so you yeah. do the same here, right. But yeah, so workflow really is a very important on these new desks for us. And what's the uh, what's the kind of uh, computer interfacing as standard on these guys? Okay, so that's really important as well with the desks. We've got three ways of recording. Uh, we can record over USB. We can also record over the network via AVB. Yeah. And then, really importantly, we've got SD recording. So this means now you can use this desk with no computer at your gig, and you can record multi-track, uh, multi-track WAV files. Uh, how, many, uh, how many channels and what class SD? Uh, so it's 48K SD. Um, it will also play back your virtual sound check as well. Ah, uh, so you use it right. Okay, so. 48 channels, did you say? Oh, sorry, sorry, 48K, 48 kilohertz recording. Okay, how many channels at a time will it record? So on the 32, it will record 32 in plus the main. The 16 will be the 16 plus the main, and so on. So you probably need, what, class 10s or something like exactly, that? Exactly, class 10 SD card, yeah. That's neat. So these guys are available now, yeah? Uh, so the 32 is available now. This one will be available at the end of the month. Uh, and I think in the summer, we've got the 24 coming. Have you got any pricing? Uh, yeah. Yet. So in Europe, we've got three two nine nine for the thirty two channel. 
Uh, we've got 199 for the 16 channel, so it's just under 2,000 euros. 1199. Uh, so 1999. 1999. Yeah, yeah, so that's it. Um, and then we've got 2899 for the 24 channel. Right, okay. So when you consider that it is an audio interface, it's also a DAW controller, and it's also a live mixer. I think they're very competitively priced. And of course, you've now got all the, the scribble strips as well on uh, for, and, and the assignable uh, LCDs for the fat channel too. Ex so. Exactly. So you've got your channel information, you've got pan information, and then up here, uh, these are consigned, uh, these will change. So for user layers, they will change for different purposes. We can assign different functions to different ah, LCD okay. panels, etc. Uh, and then they will give you your parameters for your, e your processing EQs and compressors right. and things. Uh, I really should point out as well, you probably saw at NAM um, that we've got some really cool vintage emulations. So for our EQs, we've got... Oh yes, I recognise that. Yes, yeah. I, names names I withheld to protect exactly. the innocent. <laughs> or perhaps the guilty. <laughs> but these sound really, really, really nice. They're um, Sonics uh, state space models. So the Sonics of the actual vintage unit will be copied at a component level. All right, so you're doing component modeling stuff. Exactly. And yeah. what about onboard effects? Because I think on the original series you had a couple, didn't you? Just a couple of effects. What are they? Yeah, so on each mixer, the 16, 24 and 32, we have four built-in effects. Um, and on this uh, screen, then, you'll be able to choose between lots of different visual uh, vintage. Right, so you've expanded the, the, the algorithms quite a lot as well. Exactly, and they really sound nice. So these are kind of like high-end plugins in your DAW, but use, using in your live mix, you know. Thank you so much, Lee. Thank you, Nick. Cheers.